Margot Parker, UKIP MEP for uh, the East Midlands, and I'm UKIP small business spokesperson. And I'm here today actually to find out from the Hauliers' uh, perspective, really how they're coping business-wise. I mean, we've long noted since this Calais uh, problem has arisen at the beginning of this year that lives have been put at risk, uh, but businesses, it's a huge knock-on cost, you know, to those small businesses. And we've heard firsthand today from Maru, you know, a great local company, you know, a company that's been built up, a family business, and they really look after their workforce and they're passionate, you know, to keep their workforce safe. So it's critical that we actually do our very best to make sure that these guys and their workforce actually can manage to run their business without being at risk uh, and you know to to resolve this situation because it can't carry on as it is it's, it's costing money it'll cost lives it has cost lives but we don't want to see drivers actually losing their lives or anybody else actually being put at risk so it's up to the government to step up to the plate and deal with this well, with our open borders, unfortunately, uh, those checks and balances are not there. So we'd like to see uh, us be able to take control of our own borders. We think that's really important. You know, there's no doubt about it. We need it. Uh, I think the public would be with us 90% of the case. I think if you're traveling uh, abroad, you don't want to be frightened that you're going to have somebody maybe attack you because they're desperate to get into the UK. So they need to deal with this. I mean, they've got it all the way through Europe, but this is a European problem, but our government actually needs to play its part in this. I mean, if we need to bring in extra, extra service people for a border force, then we must do that to make sure that we've got the right safety measures in place for small businesses so that these guys who work very, very hard can actually continue to run their business and keep the economy of the country going, which is desperate.